What is going on all you beautiful motherfuckers? I'm so nitro. Welcome back to a brand new video here today. So today we got some weekly crucible bounties to open up. Actually, I kind of want to see what rank I am in crucible right now, just in case we do get any packages. We are rank 127, so we probably will rank up after we open up some of these packages. I didn't do I didn't do supremacy though, just because it was Iron Banner, the last Iron Banner of Destiny 1. So Des or, uh, Iron Banner will not be coming back out ever again for Destiny. I think, maybe, unless uh, it does still continue to go on when Destiny 2 is out. I'm not entirely sure. I highly doubt it though because their main focus will be on Destiny 2. But I do have every single package done except for that Supremacy. We're going to be opening up those today. Okay, maybe I don't have heavies, but that's fine. Um, I also will be making a separate Iron Banner package opening video because it is the last Iron Banner of Destiny 1. So without further ado, we're going to get right into this. Hopefully we get some good sh good drops. I'm trying to watch my swearing in my videos. Alright, so we got the Cryptic Dragon, a Blue Engram, and a Strange Coin. Not bad. Let's see what we can get for an Auto Rifle. We got the Unbend Tree. It's kind of funny considering Iron Banner is technically today but as you guys are watching this it'll be yesterday because this will be uploaded on tuesday all right let's open up the sidearms we got the havoc pigeon all right let's see if we can get for shotgun the 44 curtain call i was kind of hoping for a uh what is it the dangerous retort i think it is is that the shotgun the iron banner shotgun not too sure and the byronic hero okay let's hope for some good drops here Let's check out these weapons, these drops, boys, see what we got. Alright, we got the Cryptic Dragon. I've already dismantled so many of these because I've gotten so many. Uh, let's see, Red Dot, OAS, Range Lens, and True Sight with Crowd Control, Armor Piercing Rounds, Braced Frame, which is about 95% stability, Field Scout, and Third Eye. I'll probably just get rid of that right now unless my Legendary Marks are full. I should probably check that just in case. That's an in inventory, isn't it? Yes, 159, I should be good. Alright, let's check out the Unbent Tree, which is not really the best auto rifle in Destiny. If I do say so myself, only because I've used it and it just sucks. Iron Red Dot, of course, these these sights never change for the Iron Banner uh, weapons, I don't know why, but we have Send It, which is increased range and accuracy, harder to handle, decreases ammo, uh, braced frame, which is better stability, which is what you want. Single point sling, armor piercing rounds, counterbalance, and spray and play. That's not a bad drop, especially for this kind of auto rifle. I mean, you do, you would want, uh, what is it? You'd want braced frame with either, yeah, with counterbalance and armor piercing rounds. That's just my opinion, but if I was going to use that, I'm probably not going to use this Byronic Hero just because it's not that great. Uh, True Sight, Fast Draw, and Quick Draw, Outlaw, Lightweight, Explosive Rounds, Oiled Frame, and Mulligan. Now if this had Range Finder, um, <clears throat> oh my god my voice is so crappy today. If this had Range Finder, Hammer Forge, and like, I guess Outlaw or something, I might consider using it, but in my experience I've used this before and it's really not the greatest. So I'm just gonna get rid of these real quick. I do apologize if people cringe when they saw that, <laughs> but uh, True Sight, uh, Steady Hand, Zen Moment, uh, we got Hot Swap, Snapshot, Quick Draw, and Reinforced Barrel. Not bad, but I don't know, I probably won't use that. I do have my Iron Wreath and I'm happy with it. Let's check out this 44 Curtain Call, Range Finder I'm seeing. We got Linear Compensator, Accurized Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, Cascade, Battle Runner, Small bore, lightweight, and range fighter. Now that is garbage because we've already got some really good. I didn't even. I don't think I showed you guys these, but I got this from a drop from PvP Crucible, and this is fucking amazing. God damn it! I gotta bleep that out. This is amazing. Range finder, quick draw, full auto. I mean, I wish it had a better perk right here, but like rifled barrel, you know, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. But and this one was. Uh, aggressive with full auto, rifle barrel, and crowd control. These are both beautiful. I love them. And I keep. Oh, yeah, I didn't get any heavy. I forgot. We did rank up in Crucible, though, right? Yes, we did. Did something go to my. Wait, what? 
Okay, maybe we didn't. Heavy would have ranked us up. Alright, we're gonna switch over to our Warlock and open up the packages over there. So I will catch you guys when we return! Alright, so now we're here on our Warlock. We do have all packages ready to open up on him. We will rank up. I'm pretty sure we will at least with better. See if we can get some good drops here, boys! Uh, let's get rid of this unknown rewards. We got the unending luge 3 again. What else is freaking new? All right, let's check out this auto rifle the hex caster ARC and we ranked up the Finale's peril sweet. I really hope there's a good drop on this because I wanted one with a good drop hopefully uh, in times of need shotgun uh, Iron wreath D sidearm again. Thank God and The ruined wake. All right, let's check out these drops boys see if we can get something good oh did something go something might have went to my postmaster we'll check it out after so the hex caster ARC we got red dot steady hand focus lens with outlaw fitted stock appended magazine small bore and spray and play now these perks aren't really the greatest especially small bore because you do reduce uh, magazine size and reload speed which is not good so we're gonna get rid of that. I don't want that anyways. Hopefully this is not looking too good. We got Steady Hand, Sure Shot, and Quick Draw with Danger Close, Lightweight, Casket Mag, and Injection Mold with Army of One. That is complete trash. Trash, I say. So we're gonna get rid of that, sadly. I really wanted one with a good drop, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen today or this week. Smooth Ballistics, uh, Accurized Ballistics, and Aggressive Ballistics with Crowd Control, Single Point Sling, Injection Mold, Flared Magwell, and Performance Bonus. Honestly, that would be so beautiful if it was on a better shotgun. This one has really shitty impact, so we're not going to keep that. I don't like that. Um, ooh, ooh. We got True Sight, Steady Hand, Range Finder. Relentless Tracker kills with this weapon grand enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time uh, Hand loaded skip rounds and appended magazine Very nice. I might have to uh, Save this and try it out in take crucibles. What do you guys think? Uh, unending deluge We got aggressive ballistics smart grift smart grift smart drift control field choke take a knee quick draw Brace frame, rifle barrel, and surplus. That is nice, minus this perk right here. Take a knee, because I rarely ever crouch when I'm shooting, so I will get rid of that. Get out! Uh, we got CQB Ballistics, Smooth Ballistics, Soft Ballistics, Underdog, Fitted Stock, Hand Laid Stock, which is 100% stability, uh, rifle barrel, and Range Finder. Hmm. Now that is actually uh, pretty snazzy. I might have to try that out. Maybe, we'll see. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let's get this last package and then we'll switch over to our Teton. Three, two, one. Ooh, Event Horizon, Event Horizon. See, I already got a good one. So let's see what this one can be. It's not looking too good, boys. Wild Hawk, which is the microphone site. Uh, view tack and ambush with army of one spray and play skip rounds small bore and firefly small bore is really like honestly to me it's not that good because it's it, re it reduces magazine size and it's slower reload so you're going basically from three to two and that's not good so we're gonna get rid of that because we have this beauty right here i don't know if this was a drop from last week or not but Hidden Hand, Explosive Rounds, Triple Tap, and Short Gaze. Hell yeah, get at me, bro. Alright, so nothing went to our Postmaster. We're going to switch over to our Titan, last character of the video, and hopefully get some better drops over there. Alright, boys, last character of the video, the Titan, the Titan. Hopefully we get some way better drops on him. Let's hope, let's hope. Good to see you. Okay, so we have one package to open up first. Let's see if we can get some good. Got the 44 Curtain Call. Let's check that out real quick. Please give me something good. We got full auto. All right, we got smart drift control, accurized ballistics, and soft ballistics with cascade melee kills. Automatically reload a portion of this weapon's magazine, which is good for the Titan. 
uh, Army of One, uh, Reinforced Barrel, a Flared Magwell, and Full Auto. That's not too bad, I kind of wish the range was a bit higher. I don't know, I'll see if I'll keep it or not, probably not. Chances are I probably won't, but that's okay. How close are we to ranking up? We're about 1900 away. Not bad, let's open up these packages, hopefully we can get some good drops. Let's go, let's go. If you guys already made it this far into the video, be sure to leave a like if you guys are enjoying this. I do appreciate all feedback and support. Uh, let's open up the Control Unknown Rewards, we got the 4th Horseman, okie dokie. The Auto Rifle, the Hacken's Hatchet, not too shabby. It seems like we're getting all Iron Banner weapons this week, which I'm not complaining. Look at this! Finalis Peril. Woo! Alright, if we get a shotgun- oh, I was gonna say, if we get the Deidre's Retort shotgun, I was gonna freak. Um, we got sidearms and heavy, let's go with sidearm, an iron wreath D, okay, this is look like, is this like a coincidence or something? <laughs> what is this dude? Last week of iron banner for destiny, and all I get is iron banner drops, that is amazing. Alright, let's check out these drops boys. I really hope this uh, finale's peril is good. This Hacken's hatchet's looking pretty good. Uh, red dot, sure shot, and focus lens with range finder, uh, lightweight, hand laid, armor piercing, and army of one. Oh my god, that is beautiful. That is so beautiful, especially with that hand laid. Woo! And range finder. Woo! Oh my god. I'm actually, I'm gonna keep that. That is definitely a keeper right there. We're gonna lock that in, boys. Alright, this finale is peril. Oh, it's not looking too good. Let's see what we got. Steady Hand, Sure Shot, Quick Draw. With Danger Close, uh, this weapon gains increased reload handling when two or, two or more enemies are in close proximity. Hammer Forged, which is nice. Explosive Rounds, Oiled Frame, and Life Support. You know what? Just because I think we're going to keep this one and give it a shot because I do have another Finalis Peril, but it's not that good. So I'm hoping for a good one. I'm just gonna get rid of this real quick because I don't like the fourth horseman. If some people do, well, you know, it's cool, but I'm not really a big fan of it. Uh, let's check this party crasher out. We got smooth ballistics, CQB ballistics, and soft ballistics with close and or personal, 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 high caliber rounds, quick draw, flared magwell, and exhumed. Not bad, but I've seen way better drops for this, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Get this out of the way. Okay, come on. Please give me a really good drop on this, please. Oh, I don't know about this, boys. Let's check it out. Fast draw. Sure shot. Okay. Last resort. Mm-hmm. Does this perk work if you're playing solo in PvP? Or is it like one of those uh, things in... Um, uh, trials where if all your teammates die and you're the last alive. Does it matter? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I don't know if it's true or not, like, let me know. Uh, Outlaw, Snapshot, Skip Rounds, and Reinforced Barrel. That is actually quite beautiful. I'm keeping that. That is definitely a keeper right there. Let's keep that. Uh, did I want to keep this? I don't remember. But we're locking that one in. Alright, let's check out this Titanium Orchid. We got... Aggressive Launch, Smart Drift Control, Hard Launch, uh, Javelin, which is really good, Perfect Balance, uh, Lightweight, Speed Reload, grena Grenades and Horseshoes, and Tripe- oh my god, that is a god roll right there, boys. Javelin, Speed Reload, and Tripod or Grenades and Horseshoes. Hell yeah. With- which site would I use? Reduce velocity and more recoil, enhanced blast radius, predictable and controllable. I don't care about recoil, but the velocity is what you want. You want more velocity. Blast radius would take over. Actually, blast radius, a little bit less blast radius wouldn't matter if you had grenades and horseshoes, I'm guessing. Rockets with, from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. I'm going to keep that and we're going to try it out. I'm going to lock that in. Real quick. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Do we have one more weapon? No, we don't. Alright, so this was basically kind of a coincidence considering that the last week of Iron Banner for Destiny, I get pretty much every weapon drop 
as an Iron Banner weapon drop. That is kind of crazy. Like, I don't entirely know what to say about that, but it can't be a coincidence because I'm gonna be opening up my Iron Banner packages uh, tomorrow and probably uploading it on Wednesday. Or t Wednesday or Thursday. I'll probably upload it Wednesday or Thursday for these. But. Yeah, that can be a coincidence. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, be sure to drop a like, drop a comment. If you guys are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe for more uploads. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch at I'm so Nitro and Twitch.tv slash I'm so Nitro. And I'll catch